Hello guys, I hope you are doing fine. And this is a tutorial to uh, configure your uh, USB generic controller for EAFC 2025. So let's jump right into it. As you can see now, I started FIFA, but I can't get into the menu or do anything. I'll click right now on the controller, but it does nothing. It only detects the keyboard and the mouse. So to fix this, just follow these simple steps. Let's start with detecting our controller using X360 to just to be sure that it's correctly detected in our computer. So what you have to do, right click on EA FC 2025 on Steam, go to install files, browse, start it as administrator. Then it will automatically require to create input DLL file, choose create. Now as you can see, my generic USB joystick is detected. We will search for the configuration on the net. Then once it's done, we click finish. As you can see, my controller is fully detected on X360. Even so, even clicking after save, exiting the program, trying FIFA once again, still it's not detected. I'm clicking on all the buttons but none of them is responding to. If uh, you didn't purchase your game via Steam but rather via eApp, all you have to do is to add EA Desktop and EA FC25 as non-steam games. To do that you go below, you do add a non-steam game, then you browse its location or you select from or you select from the list. Now follow my steps. Right click on EA Sports FC 2025, go to properties and go to controller, then make sure that Steam input is enabled. Now just switch it to disabled and enable it once again just to make sure. Now go to Steam settings and controller. As you can see now the generic USB joystick is detected. What you have to do is to begin the setup. You have to set up your controller on Steam. So X360 is no longer enough to configure your controller or get it detected in FIFA. We click begin setup. Now it will require us to configure our controller by clicking on buttons. Press button B, press button X, press button Y. D pad left, D pad right, D pad up, D pad down. Time stick left, time stick right, time stick up, time stick left, or button, sorry. And click on it, L3, right stick, same thing. Make sure to click all the buttons at the right timing. RT or R2, select or share, options or start. Now whoever has this home guide, if it's a PS4 controller or it's a different controller, just a joystick one but different. If not, just hold B to skip it. Now you will see that a reference for your joystick. For example, mine is G Shark GS etc so it's you know it's a random usb generic controller although i don't recommend using it but just in case you have it while waiting for another controller now you see your controller is fully detected on steam it's all b to exit now let's start our game and test it now let's try to click x as you can see it's now detected e able to click all the buttons on my joystick. I'm able to enter FIFA easily now. So just make sure that Steam input enabled, then set up your controller as if it was the first time detected. You can see I can scroll, can do everything. Let's try all the buttons, see. Right stick also is perfectly working. Let's go to arena, practice. 
so the controller is fully detected as you can see so the controller is perfectly detected and also right configured i hope this tutorial will help you configure your controller see you later